Russia's defense ministry says it has prevented an attempted cross-border incursion from Ukraine into the Russian region of Belgorod and reported renewed shelling of the area from Ukraine. Now, the Kremlin says Soviet-designed rockets were used in the attacks. The regional governor says at least eight people were injured during what he called uninterrupted shelling of the town of Shebekino. Uh, two more were hurt when a drone crashed. The residents have been moved to temporary shelters. Uh, more on this from DW's uh, Russia analyst, Konstantin Egert. He joins us from uh, Vilnius. Uh, welcome, Konstantin. Uh, there's been no independent verification of these supposed uh, attacks and no claim of responsibility. Are you convinced that it did actually happen? Yes, it did. Uh, the Russian Russian social media uh, is basically bu bursting with footage from the town of Shebekino, uh, where it seems like some very serious shelling happened. Uh, some residential buildings are definitely hit. But it seems that the main element of uh, the attack or the main focus of the attack was the, uh, the plant, which produces artificial sapphires, which are used in certain high-tech um, uh, production, and uh, it seems like also military production. So uh, this seems to have been the main uh, target of the attack. At the same time, uh, there are lots, there's lots of footage of uh, people actually being evacuated and uh, finding themselves in other areas of the Belgorod region, um, because it's just basically not safe there. So yes, there was an attack. There, was, there is no claim, uh, specific claim of who did it. Although uh, just hours before it, uh, the the so-called uh, Free Russia uh, Legion that has already crossed into Belgorod Oblast a few days ago uh, said that we did it and we are going to do more of these cross-border incursions. So uh, it seems that the attack was was coming essentially uh, from the south to the north, basically into Russia. And so what is Russia likely to do to defend it now? Well, there's a, there is not much you can do apart from intensifying the shelling of the Ukrainians, uh, because I'm sure that uh, uh, the launchers, the, the, it seems that it was a combined attack by drones and missiles, uh, the launchers will be removed. Uh, so basically, it's not that there are no stationary positions to hit, as far as I understand. So you'll see just more of this shelling of civilian areas in Ukraine, that that is for sure. Uh, at the same time, it is quite embarrassing for uh, Vladimir Putin uh, that such things started happening in southern Russia with, uh, well, basically very troubling regularity, and uh, uh, they will have to tackle it uh, if such context, uh, attacks continue. They, they can't just pretend it doesn't happen. And uh, which brings me to my next point, really. Do you think these attacks on Russian territory are likely to sway Russian opinion about this war uh, one way or the other? Well, you know, Phil, if I knew, uh, uh, or if I claimed that I knew, I would have been pretty insincere. I think there's not going to be an immediate effect uh, Russia is a huge country. People living basically, uh, let us say, in Tula, which is less than 1,000 kilometers to the north, can't be bothered by Belgorod. That's the nature of things. But over time, if such cont attacks continues, if, if more regions are impacted by them, it's going to change. But it may first sway into anger against Ukrainians. People in Russia are convinced, a, a, la a, a large part of them, are convinced that Russia is fighting a just war. So I think the initial result may well be uh, basically more anger and more desire to avenge uh, against Ukraine. So uh, that's going. That's what's going to happen. Although I'm sure that some will give, uh, will take a pause and think about what really happens. But this is a very complicated thing. Uh, it never happens overnight. It's never one-dimensional. Thanks for that, uh, Constantine. Uh, Russia analyst Constantine Egert.